What's up, Brick Dudes and Brickettes? Brickman USA back here with a brand new review on the Lego Harry Potter 76386 Hogwarts Polyjuice Potion Mistake. And I know some of you are wondering, hey, Brickman, this is an old Lego Harry Potter set. It's one of the 20th anniversary sets. Oh, I know it is. But I wanted to review these because I've had them for a while and they are some of my favorite sets. And I'm just going to show you my Hogwarts and as I expand it over time. Let's get on into it. On the side of the box, you see the Harry Potter 20th anniversary logo. Then on the top of the box, we have the figures. And then on the side, you see we have Golden Harry. And then on the back of the box, here's the bathroom. And then you can see when they drink the potion, they all change in their perspective other things. Now let's get into the set. Open up the box. Here's the instruction manual and you get a few little Lego bags to do this small set. And the set retailed for $20 when it came out. And here are the two wizard cards I got out of the set. And out of the set, I already have both these wizard cards in the Chamber of Secrets. I got it is Snape and Professor McGonagall. Let's get on to the figs. The first fig we are looking at is Harry Potter in the Slytherin robes. And I think he is a very cool fig to add to your Hogwarts displayer collection if you don't already have him. Just because he is in them, the Slytherin robes alone. Now let's get to his alternate. Just like in the movie, once Harry drinks the potion, he becomes Gregory Goyle. And then here is Gregory Goyle, and then the other side face is the Harry Potter face. You just get an extra hair to put on. Overall, I think this is an awesome fig, and I usually have Harry and Ron as a Goyle and Crab because I already have Harry and Ron. Let's get into Ron. And here is the Ron Weasley minifigure in the Slytherin robes. And my favorite part about this Ron Weasley figure is that disgusted facial expression he has after he drinks the Polyjuice Potion. And now let's get in to when Ron Weasley turns into Vincent Crab. And here is when Ron turns into Vincent Crab. And I think this the face on that they did for Crab looks really good as they tried to make kind of the chunkier cheeks to make it look a little bit more accurate. But overall, I really like the figures and how they can transform. It's one of my favorite parts about the set, and it's what, what drew me in. And here's the last main figure of the set we have, and it is Hermione Granger in the Slytherin robes, which look really cool. And I love the little potion glass she's holding in her hand. It just looks so good and makes the set look so much better. Now let's get into one of my favorite parts of the set, Cat Hermione. If you've seen Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets, you will know that Cat Hermione is a funny part of the movie when she messes up the potion. And Lego did a great job of representing her here. Here is Kitty Cat Hermione. She looks great. Little cat piece right there looks so good. And now... Let's get into the last but not least figure. And here is the 20th anniversary Harry. And I know a lot of people were bummed when they weren't like that gold, like the chrome gold, like Mr. Gold. But if Lego did that, these figures would have been too much. So I see why they just made it the normal gold color. But overall, this figure is super sick. See the 20 year back, like the Star Wars ones right there. And starry. And overall, the 20th anniversary Harry Potter figs have been more exciting and Better for me to find than the Star Wars figs. The Star Wars figs are cool. They were just the old ones. I have most old ones from when I was a kid. I do have like three or four of the Star Wars ones, but I almost have all the Harry Potter ones except the Ron Weasley one. I just need to get that Winter Village set. But except that, let's get into the rest of the set. So here is the build of the Polyjuice bathroom. As you can see, they get the stall that Myrtle was in. I'm not sure if it is the exact one, but it is a stall. So I'm gonna say it's the stall that Myrtle was in. And then there you have the entrance to the chamber. But first, let's just do an exterior. If you're looking at it from there, the little window, it fits right into the Hogwarts expansion, which is great. So it's like perfect. And then, you know, in the movie, they open it up and you could slide down into the, into it, into the chamber. But same thing with the Lego set. You just flick this part. Sorry, my fat old fingers. And then look right in there. Uh, if you guys keep watching, in the next day or so after this video drops, I will be dropping the bigger Chamber of Secrets set with this one connected into it so you can see how it fully works. Overall, this has been an awesome set, and I know it looks sick in the Chamber of Secrets and the bigger Hogwarts sets when you all combine them. But for $20, if you don't have this set, you might want to start to find it soon because they're getting harder and harder to find as it is 22 already. 2022, these came out in 2020, I believe. 
Yeah, they came out in 2020. 2021. So they are they are retiring soon. They are going to be off shelves. So if you really want that golden hairy fig and crab and goyle and cat harmony, I'd say you got to pick this set up soon before it gets off shelves. But overall, I'd rate this set a 9 out of 10 as it's a little small. Maybe they could have built it a little bit bigger, but I know it's to fit into the Hogwarts. So 9 out of 10 overall. Great set. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like and subscribe, and there will be plenty more content on the way. Brickman, help!